What if the secret to enlightenment lies not in the quest, but within ourselves? Imagine the mystery of the universe, the elixir of wisdom, the ultimate enlightenment, or the concept of a divine entity, all residing within the intricate network of our nervous system. It's as though we're carrying the philosopher's stone within us, always. Ponder upon the areas in life where the magic of synchronicity doesn't seem to exist. Recognize them, and let the awareness of their existence bring a sense of profound unease. This discomfort, this fear, is not an enemy, but a catalyst. It pushes you to the edge of the abyss of the unknown. The greater your capacity to tolerate the strange and the bizarre, the more fascinating your journey becomes. Think of it as navigating through a thick fog with only a dimly lit lantern. The more you perceive the unusual, the more you find companions who can see the same light. It's as if we're all explorers in a vast, uncharted landscape of the mind. We, as humans, are beings of myth. We reside in our stories, our legends, our dreams, while we merely endure our real-world realities. Consider dreams of flight. They existed in our collective unconscious long before we had the technology to fly. If we understood our dreams better, if we knew the language of our subconscious, wouldn't we use our technology more wisely? Take a moment to think about the cartoons children watch on Saturday mornings. A common gag features the protagonist walking off a cliff, blissfully unaware of the fall until the very moment they look down. This scenario echoes the Greek myth of Daedalus and Icarus. Daedalus, the artist, invents wings to escape his prison, while Icarus, in his hubris, flies too close to the sun and plummets. The artist, the scientist, the poet, the physicist, they're all creators, inventors of new realities. They are the shamans of our society, those who walk in the sky, who dare to dream the impossible. And yet, our collective unconscious seems to resist these dreams of flight. But what if we could harness this resistance? What if we could nurture our poetic imagination, put on wings, and arouse the coiled splendor within us? The road to enlightenment is not without its dangers, as shown by the story of Stephen Daedalus, named after Saint Stephen, who was stoned to death for his visionary ideas. We must learn to navigate the societal and state machinery, to survive and thrive despite them. We must get wise in every sense of the word. The future remains uncertain, a canvas waiting to be painted. It belongs to those who dare to dream, to those who take the risk and accept the responsibility of consciously creating the future they desire. In the grand scheme of things, view the world as a conspiracy run by a very closely knit group of nearly omnipotent people. And who are these people? They are you and your friends. In the end, there is no end. Life continues its mysterious journey, growing weirder with each passing moment. But isn't the beauty of life hidden in its weirdness, in its unpredictability, in its endless quest for enlightenment?